What is up guys, Cash back again, and there are a lot of things to talk about with Rocksteady Suicide Squad Killed a Justice League game that drops in just a few months, mainly a recent leak that shares what looks to be an in-game image from a playtest build or a dev kit, and it shows off a bit of the game's UI which includes multiple options to cycle through like loadouts and a battle pass and a store, and it also suggests there could be crossplay available with logos for PlayStation and PC being spotted as well. And if you want to check out the image for yourself, I'll have it linked down below, but I can't show it here because WB has taken swift action to strike channels who have shared the image, which leads me to my next point, which is by doing just that, they've pretty much confirmed that the image is indeed authentic and that the early rumors of the game being a live service game were true after all, and players are having mixed reactions to this news. Obviously the biggest example of a failed live service game most players will point to is Marvel's Avengers for several reasons like the repetitive missions, poor loot design, time gating, as well as the bad RNG and extreme grind involved with chasing high level gear. And players have been vocal about wanting games to stick to the formula of offering fun cinematic campaigns while offering expansions and DLC post launch like the Arkham games and Marvel Spider-Man. But with the success of games like Destiny and Fortnite, more studios seem to be looking for ways to break into the games as a service market with various degrees of success, but this recent leak has the potential to be detrimental to the game's success overall because of how poorly the last attempt at a live service superhero game was received, and it appears that the fallout from the Avengers game struggles have been far reaching with rumors of previously planned live service games switching gears to avoid those negative comparisons and expectations. The story and gameplay for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League looks to be an amazing experience for players, but with it being a live service game, the game's in-game design will be the thing that ultimately determines its fate, because no matter how much fun players have in the main campaign, if they're not sticking around to play week to week and purchasing marketplace items, the team could be facing a very rough lunch, and if plans for post-launch content haven't been solidified or players simply don't enjoy it, we could very well be looking at DC's version of Avengers. But before you swing too far one way or the other, I suggest waiting to hear official details from the studio themselves, as well as seeing more of what the game has to offer because we still don't know much about the game aside from a few story beats and gameplay clips. And if live service looters aren't your thing, I 100% understand, but this is a Rocksteady project who've proven that they know what they're doing on multiple occasions, so if you enjoyed their Arkham series, then at the very least give them the benefit of the doubt here, and if nothing else, we'll get what looks to be another Another great campaign to play through in addition to this being the game that has the late great Kevin Conroy's final performance as the Cape Crusader. But that's where we'll leave things for today, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Do you think the game being live service will hurt its launch and are you still looking forward to picking the game up? Let me know down below and make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe for more gaming news every week. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.